Indiana. Um, I'm incredibly grateful to have this opportunity just to be here. Um, the coaching staff's incredible and they've done a really good job teaching me and just getting me going. And the upperclassmen last year really helped me out, um, preparing me for this. So incredibly grateful for that. Okay, let's go Emily to Emily. Hey, Emily, it's Emily. Um, <laughs> I know a big um, a big thing this year is, you know, not having those fans at games. So who are you guys looking to on your team specifically to create that energy, whether that be on the court or on the bench? I think everyone. Everyone's super passionate. Everyone's really excited to be here. Um, we're all really excited to get the opportunity to play. And we have a great group of girls that just all want each other to succeed. So that's really unique for a team, too. So I'm really excited to just be on the court and get to play with them. Dustin? Emily, obviously you guys have a lot of roster turnover, bring a lot of, a lot of freshmen, and this, this freshman class is obviously pretty high, highly regarded. Uh, what's impressed you about them so far? How do you think uh, just what they can do that, that can change the dynamic of, of what you guys are capable of on the floor? Mm -hmm. um, with all of them, all of the newcomers, all the freshmen, uh, we're a very young team and it's been really fun and they've they're all super encouraging and excited want to be in the gym all the time and super hard working and we're always listening to the coaches and trying to get one percent better every day and just having them and building that culture too for the next four years I guess coming up by the time they're seniors they'll have a pretty good underclassmen team coming in too probably. Let's go back to Stefan. Uh, Emily, I know for you last year, you had uh, Victoria Brizak. This year, you've got um, Brooke kind of there to help you along. I mean, what's it been like the past couple of years having upperclassmen to kind of, I guess, guide you at the position while you're coming into Big Ten play? Tori was great last year. She taught me a lot about just IU too and playing in the Big Ten. So I learned a lot from her. And having all of Brooke's background too, um, She's already taught me so much, and I'm so grateful that she's here to teach me what she knows. And um, just having an upperclassman player to look up to, too, and um, having that opportunity, it's really cool. We'll go back to Emily. Hey, Emily. Um, have you talked with, you know, any friends or players from the football, men's, or women's basketball teams, just kind of about their seasons, um, you know, because they've – either have already played or are playing right now and have they given you any pointers into you know what the season might be like a little bit they just talk about how you just got to keep going looking forward to like every game and you never know if you could play a match or you could not because of COVID and we're so grateful to be getting tested every single day um, like them too and you just got to stay positive well with all of this too and every day to be in the gym it's just a another opportunity to get better and to learn. And so we're really lucky to have those opportunities and just big thanks to everyone who like is allowing this to happen and allowing us to have the opportunity to play. We're all just so grateful for that. We'll go back to Dustin. Emily, obviously this class brings in a lot of size. You have a, a lot of, op, a lot of uh, you know, height up front, basically. I mean, do you feel like just as a setter that you, you have more options to go to, that you have more hitting options? Do you think, feel like you guys will have a more varied attack now? Definitely. I think um, we have some really good raw freshman players coming in, and it's just really fun to see them grow throughout this, even those past four months and the time in the gym that we have the opportunity to train and grow and build our connections with each other. It's just, it's really fun and great to see them grow throughout all this. Go back to Stefan. Yeah, and we kind of just wanted to follow up on that. I mean, what, what was it like these past few months, maybe when you guys didn't know there was going to be a season? I mean, did you kind of pull aside Tommy or some of the other freshmen to kind of try to build that, that connection, you know, maybe anticipating a lost season and, you know, wanted to have some kind of comfort level before, you know, you do get going against the Brass? Definitely. We would always have Zoom calls, just like talk, hang out with each other, maybe like movie night, something just over Zoom and always FaceTiming each other, just keeping those connections and talking about family or what's going on and making sure they're always OK. Um, keep building those relationships off the court is really important for on the court relationships as well. You just build so much trust with each other and it's 
really fun to just get to know new girls too.